<laughs> um, it sounds like something. Yeah, I'm playing Mo on the ground. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it. Uh, can you sing the melody? Yeah. Maybe I can pick it up and show it to you. Okay. That would be good. Pretty good. Yeah, it was easy enough to pick up. I like your voice a lot. I like your banjo playing. <laughs> Who taught you that song? My dad. <laughs> he loves that song. Mm -hmm. He starts singing it every time we go fishing. <laughs> you go fishing with your daddy? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, we fish for. Brook trout. Fry them up. <laughs> what was the first verse? Oh, I wish I was a mole in the ground. Well, I wish I was a mole in the ground. There's a mole in the ground that root the mountain. Wish I was a mole in the ground. When a boy of 10, I used to ride behind my father over to Little Ivy in Madison County, North Carolina to hear my great uncle, Oz Deaver, play the fiddle, who was a good old time fiddler. He played a tune called Ten Steps. I've never heard it played uh, since I was a boy. That 
that was about 60 years ago. I have not heard it uh, since played by any other person. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Felix. How are you? Good. Did you sleep well? Oh, I slept great. Did you sleep at all? Um, not yet. I was just on my way out to hit the hay. Hmm. Felix, Felix, Felix. Another late night. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about that and uh, talk to you about your future a little bit. I've been praying on it, and I've been thinking about it, and I think today after service, you might, uh, you might need to think about moving on to the next phase in your life. Oh, speaking of which, we did pretty good last night. We made a few extra, and I want to give it to you. Here, you take that. That'll help you on your way. Mm -hmm. You're saying that you want me to move out? I'm saying it's time. Well? Look, you've got a lot of potential. You're a really good musician and a great guy. It's just time to do more than sleeping all day and playing all night. Hmm. Well, uh, thanks for letting me stay here. As long as you let me stay here, it's been, it's been good. And we've been happy to have you. Um, and you know you're always welcome when you pass through. Thanks. Um, can I keep borrowing your banjo? That'd be okay. Ain't gonna happen. Wow. Okay. But with a little money and a little work, you'll be able to get your own. I believe in you. I saw, I saw the light from heaven shining all around. I saw the light come shining. I saw that light come down. Come in. Sit down. Take a load off. Would you like a cup of coffee? Um, sir, that would be... That would okay, be let me get you a cup. I don't know if you know, I'm an apple salesman. That's what I do for a living. We have apples here that will grow in... Hard soil climates, apples that'll grow in sandy climates. Apples good for the mountains, apples good for cooking, apples good for eating, and some of them good for drinking. I hope you're a drinking man. Actually, I was uh, looking for employment. I was wondering if, if you could give me a job. Yes, I can, but let me ask you a few questions before I, before I make up my mind. You're gonna be in hard terrain. You'll go days without proper eating, days without the right kind of food. You'll go nights without sleep but you'll still keep going. People will be kind of mean to you if you go door to door knocking at people's cabins because you look like a city boy a little bit and some of these mountain people, they're gonna turn you away. You know the ones I mean, son. You know mm -hmm. the ones I mean. I used to go to Frolics when I was a boy. Yeah. We ought to see that Cindy. She's living way down south. She's so mm -hmm. sweet them honeybees just swarms around your mouth. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't take no for an answer because remember you're selling trees and that's the point of what you're doing is making mm -hmm. money for the company. You still interested? To the pines, to the pines, where the sun never shines. Gonna shiver where the cold winds blow. Look down, look down, that lonesome road. Where you and I must go Little boy, little boy Where have you been? Where did you stay last night? I stayed in the pines Where the sun never shines And I shivered where the cold winds blow
Hello. Well, hi. How are you doing? I'm right. Uh, my name is Felix Eugene. I'm with the Monford Fruit Tree Company. And if you've been thinking about planting any fruit trees, um, now would be a very good time to consider some of our uh, various uh, apple varietals that we have. Um, fruit tree, yeah, apple tree. Yeah, yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, selling selling apple trees. Um, if you're interested in that, we could perhaps talk about some of the different varieties that we have. And huh. Well, I feel like you should really be speaking with my husband, Arvel. Okay. And he won't be home till supper time. Okay. Well, maybe could could I wait here for him? Would that be all right? Um. Well, it's gonna be at least five hours. Um. Uh, that that's all right with me. Yeah. Arvel. Arvel's a good man. He's been a carpenter for years and he uh, makes guitars. Really? Yeah. Does he play too? Yeah, he does. He plays well. We play just about every night. Hmm. Huh. Um. Did y'all grow up around here? Well, yeah, I did. Yeah, I grew up around here. I wasn't born here, but I grew up around here, and Arvel is from Virginia. He's a Virginia boy. Hmm. How long have you been on this farm? A couple years. long enough to have a baby. You still got them goats? No, we, we got rid of the goats. We're not goat people. That last one you had ate my old hat. I wasn't too pleased about that. Can I help you? Hello. My name is Felix Eugene. Okay. I'm at the Montford Nursery Horrible. Company. Felix, this is Pappy. Pappy, Mr. Just Felix. blew in Man, today. Nice to Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Um, so I'm here today to talk, you, to talk to you about fruit trees and if oh. you're interested in possibly investing in oh. some fruit trees for this property. We love fruit trees. Um, yeah, we that's have, good. We have several great varieties. Um, Would you like to stay for supper? Well, sure. Maybe maybe we can talk about Come this. Come on in the house. Maybe well, well, you're in for a treat, Mr. Felix. Yeah, I was in Morganton, but I've been a few other places. It sure is good to see you. It's good to see you. Look at what else we got. I was noticing that you had something attached there. <laughs> when did that happen? That was the big surprise. <laughs> what? Hey, fellas. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> Did they give you some training down there at that business? Teach you how to be a salesman? Yeah, yeah, we have. Um, how to talk fast? Um, let's see. Okay, <clears throat> so how many, how many more apple trees were you considering? If it's just I would say, one variety. Yeah, well just just one tree would be good, so we can graft on from that. See now, a real salesman, you wouldn't be letting me get a word in edgewise. You'd just be talking a mile a minute. Um, we uh, we have some other very nice varieties. We have um, this Carolina Secret. It's the best kept secret this side of the Catawba, and mm -hmm. um, that one that one is is, is quite quite delicious. Yeah. Arvo, I'm gonna go out here. Harmonica's playing. I'm gonna go play with Peppy. Okay. I'll see you out there. I'll be out there in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Would you like to join us on the porch? Um. I suppose this can wait.
like you live to be 365 when Lord came and took him back to heaven alive I saw saw the light from heaven shining all around saw the light come shining saw the light come down Adam and Eve in the garden Under that sycamore tree Eve said to Adam Oh, Satan never tempted me I saw Saw the light from heaven Shining all around Saw the light come shining Saw the light come down You know, if, you, if you're either a salesman or you ain't, and I, I, I just don't think you're much of a salesman. No, you're, you're a banjo picker. <laughs> One heck of a banjo picker, I'll tell you. Yeah, too bad you didn't come through last summer when Archibald still lived out here. Who's that? Archibald Thompson. You've never heard of Archibald Thompson? <laughs> you don't go picking around very much, do you? That man could pick like no one else. He's over in Texana now. Where's that? The other side of Bryson City. 100 miles. We often have communities named for foreign countries like Italy and Canada. Italy, it's hard to tell what kind of a community or size of uh, territory it covered. Possibly just one mountain creek valley. Yonder comes a pretty little girl I'll tell you how I know Her head is full of pretty little curls Hanging down so low Go on Italy up for long Cindy. Felix. Nice smelling you got there. <laughs> Is that guy with you? No. <laughs> um, yeah. Good banjo players in Nashville, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever play with any of them? Yeah, I do. Actually, tonight there's a bunch of people gathering pretty close to here for a party. I'd love it if you'd come with me. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. There's a few banjo players there too. One, two, three! <laughs>
in the watermelon. Oh, it's so close. Sleep okay? I do. Thanks. I think I have to be going soon. But I was wondering Do you wanna would you come with me? Would you come with me to Texana? We could just like hit the road and go right now. I really want to go with you, but I can't. You can't? No. I've got a lot of things to do here. Got my family, my job.
drunken, she toted to town. She saw the couple coming and she threw that pumpkin down to get along home. I wish I had a needle and thread as fine as I could sew. I'd sew the girls to my coattail and down the road I'd go. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home, Cindy, Cindy. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you sometime. My name is Reverend Webb, and this is my wife Susie. We pastor a church there in Tech Center. Oh, yeah? You know people there? Well, somebody um, told me about this banjo player, and um, I was hoping that I could go there and maybe learn something from him. But his name is Archibald Thompson. Do you, do you know him? Archibald Thompson. Honey, didn't, didn't he pass away some time back? He did. He did. Yeah, I think he passed away. He's, he's, he's not in Texana anymore. But well, we're going there for homecoming today uh, at our church that we, that we pastor. We're going to have a lot of good singing and shouting and, and a lot of uh, music. Uh, not banjo, but we're going to have uh, keyboard and piano and guitar picking. And the only thing that, and it's not a big deal, but would you bud your shirt up? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course going into the house of the Lord.
come to Waffle King very much? Uh, no, this is my first time. Yeah. These waitresses make their money on tips. It's considered polite to order something besides coffee and sit there and iron nursing it. It's good coffee, though. <laughs> yeah. Your circumstances such that you can't buy supper? Yeah, to tell you the truth, I'm a little broke. Well, I figured as much. I seen you old hang doggies. Come on over here, and uh, maybe we'll have an opportunity for you. Miss Penny, how about making a strawberry waffle for this boy? He's hungry and got nothing to go with his coffee. Yeah. I well, hope you're not allergic to strawberries. No, no, strawberries are fine. Okay. Well, I might have jumped a little ahead. But I've just uh, been in your situation. It's hard to make it some days, and it looks like you need a break, and I might have one for you. I'm Dr. Ryan. I have a traveling medicine show, and we're going to be in Hayesville tomorrow night doing a big show. Okay. I could use some help setting up. Uh, there's a little bit of heavy lifting, not too bad, just moving some furniture out of the trailer and setting mm -hmm. it up out in the lawn and uh, working with my lights and my sound system a little bit. And I believe you could do that. Yeah, yeah, we, I could do that. We'll get sure. you a nice work and see if you feel better about it day after. And he was a catfish farmer. He had uh, three ponds full of catfish of different sizes. And, uh, and uh, every, every day he would sell the catfish and people would buy them and take them home and, and eat them. He was so shy that he took his elixir down to the pond at night to dose itself. And he would scrub it in his hair, you know, and massage it in and everything. He got so excited one evening he began to feel some stubble and he knocked the bottle over and emptied a whole bottle of elixir into the middle pond of his catfish ranch there. Well, he fished for it and could not get it and said, well, I'll just have to order another bottle. The next day, his customers come and started catching catfish, and every one of them had grown so much hair that he had to give away big razors so they could shave their fish <laughs> before they dressed them. And that's the truth if I ever told it. And there we go. Well, we're getting to that part of the show uh, where we are willing to perhaps part with a few bottles of elixir. You'll have another chance later. But we've got a fresh batch just brewed over here. And the uh, elixir is a dollar a bottle, very reasonable fee. This is serious, folks. We've entertained you the best we can, and the entertainment will continue. You'll have I'll another chance. I'll take a bottle. Yes, sir. There's my first customer. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you very much. There we go. Nina, it's time to get up and sell some electric. All right, Thank come you on up. Much. Hold up Thank your you hand. Very much. There we go. Get yourself a bottle. Nina, would you help me here? We need a help me with the selling some bottles here. There you go. I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I tell you that my money don't never run out. I don't care if I never wake up. I'm my money. 
money don't never run out. You rich fools, you are making me shout. Every good evening by my sweetheart's door, I shout. Yes, I'm a living a good old time. Don't drink no beer and no cheap wine. And I always flight, cause my money don't never run out. Consider myself pretty responsible. Dependable, reliable. Yeah. Like a Ford truck. Like a Ford truck. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You've got some glasses too, so you can see things pretty well. Yeah. With extreme power comes extreme responsibility. You know? <laughs> 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 that's the truth. That's yeah. The truth. Well, we're going to ask you to be responsible for something because uh, we're all feeling a little bit hungry after. It's true. We're we're going to go off and get something now. Uh, we just saw you come from the the truck. Mm -hmm. What I need you to do is stand over by the truck and don't move until we get back. Okay, just watch the truck? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, You can handle that. I can do that. Alright, if <coughs> people come around, you gotta, you know, show them what you're made yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, you All right. Don't All watch right, that stuff guys. go away. Perfect. Oh, we'll nice. bring you back a little Thanks, something. Alright. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. You do a good job. See you guys later. people's instrument. Uh, here's your burger. <laughs> Thanks, sent, man. sent with love from Ingrid. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Boy. I knew that song. I think I know that one. What was that? Make me a pat on your floor? Yeah. Yeah, I know that one. Uh, make me down little pallet on your floor. Uh, make me down a little pallet on your floor. Yeah. Oh, make me down a pallet on your floor. Won't you make it so your man will never know? Talking about Roberta now. Ah, Roberta's dead and gone. I tell me, Roberta dead and gone. Oh. Me too. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you played the banjo. I came from a musical family, yeah. a little bit. Like my mom would sing ballads and stuff when she was doing chores and sing to us. Yeah, like, you used to sing the old ballads. Yeah, I know some ballads. Yeah, give me that banjo. I used to play the ballads all the time. Oh boy, I used to play all sorts of them. You know, Barbara Allen. You know, I'd be singing uh, about uh, the wild boar, you know, Quatoqua, Quatoqua, you know, singing <laughs> singing all that stuff. Hmm. He's singing uh, Red Rose of England, and we'd be singing that. That sounds familiar. Yeah? You play that. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played that one. Let me see if I can just scratch a little piece off of it here and see. <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, Jane was in labor for three days or more. She grieved and she grieved till she made her heart sore. She called for her mother, her mother came on. Said the red rose of England shall flourish no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember nothing else from that. <laughs> to be where I, where I was brought up, you know? And it's, cause it's a funny thing, you know, you, you got your family at home, and, you know, usually you're supposed to stay at home, but uh, if you get to traveling, you know, you, you gotta find family anywhere you can get it. You know, just, uh... uh here, I'll play this. This was my theme song that I play. I mean, <laughs> Man, mm -hmm. I'm gonna call tonight. Well, it was good, good sitting with you. All you gotta remember though is, no matter what, some things don't never last. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Sleep well. All right. You too. Well, you may have noticed that the camp was less densely populated this morning when we took our things down and packed up. I think my crew of performance has moved on to greener pastures. Not the first time it's happened, but I'm going to have to think over uh, what I'm going to do. I need some performers. One good performer might do in a pinch. Felix, I thought you were a natural. You, you responded to the crowd, and the crowd responded to you. And you play the banjo a little bit too, don't you? Yep. 
Well, I'll tell you, Felix, we've got to go out to the country now, to the farm. I need a break. I need to regroup a little bit, and I need to gather some more medicinal herbs. I've got yellow root. I've uh, got to get some golden seal, some ginseng. This is a time of year when the ginseng is just beginning to bury up at Jesus fine. But he didn't know what he was going to do next. So his grandmother was reading about this other job, and she says, Jack, look, look here. There's a blacksmith that needs somebody to shovel coal. Well, all right, I'll go down. We'll just go camp out with my friends out there at the farm, and uh, you'll like them. That lady's a good cook. I'm looking forward to eating there. So we went down, this fellow's name was Paul. And Paul said, well, yes, I need a feller like you. You look strong. Let me feel your muscle. And he, he felt a Jack's muscle. Well, I think you'll do all right. Is this that guy that called you the other night? I think so. Who is he? Uh, <clears throat> is an herbalist. You know, he's fellow travels and uh, does those medicine shows. Medicine shows? Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, here we are, Felix. I don't know who that fella is, so you wait here in the truck until I figure out what's going on. And uh, I figure we'll call for you directly. All right. Make a little smoke. <laughs> Dr. Ryan? Yeah, hiking in the woods, looking for herb. You remember that? Who's your buddy here? Um, my, my friend Charles. Charles, glad to meet you, sir. Nice glad to meet, to meet you. you. I actually I'm need a little help. I need a little help. Uh, I'm running low on some of my herbs. Can't be no elixir without some herbs. I need some ginseng, golden seal, maybe mm. some sarsaparilla. You've got anything around here you could show me we could gather? I got some put up, and you uh, know, the well, sang is starting to show the got some red seeds. Got some color. I saw some yesterday. All right. I'd rather be up in those mountains. We've been fixing up this house. Well, it's... I'll tell you what now. I know you don't want to interrupt your important work, but if you'll go out in the woods with me and help me find something, I've got a young man that'll stand in your place and work while you're with me. Uh, his name is Felix, and uh, we'll get him up here in a minute, but he's a hard worker. You'll be very pleased with him. It came up quick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe it'll pass and we'll get back at it. You're doing a good job. Help us out a lot. Thanks. Timothy and Emma haven't come back, have they? Haven't seen them. Wonder where they're at. I just feel real lucky that I got got up with Emma, so I'd be in on this too, because I wasn't doing much good. But <laughs> not having this to do is give me something to do and something to look forward to. Yeah. How long do you think it'll take before y'all can move in here? I don't know. It'd be nice to get in before winter, but it'd probably just be a big old mess or something. Just Maybe get one or two rooms fixed up. Stay in for the winter, maybe. Very nice. But I think the family wants to fix the whole place up eventually and 
I don't know, that might take a long time. <laughs> A coat of paint would go a long way. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of scraping though. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dreading that. This is entitled Drinking of the Wine, a beautiful spiritual which I learned in about 1900 in Wilkes County, North Carolina. Drinking of the wine. Wine, wine, drink another wine. Holy wine. It ought to be now four thousand years. Drink another wine. Drink it, member, drink it free. It flows from the root of the tender tree. It ought to been there four thousand years Drinking of the wine Drinking of the wine Wine, wine, drinking of the wine Full of wine It ought to been there four thousand years Drinking of the wine Drink it, sister Drink it free and meet me at Galilee. It ought to been there for a thousand years drinking of the wine. There's hills, but they're not like that close together, so it's more like, um, so real slow. You're stomping with one foot, so it's kind of, but anytime the hill comes up, this has to go down. What are you supposed to be doing? Supposed to be boxing up the house. Oh, uh, okay. Want to help me and put stuff in the shelves? Uh, oh, yeah. So, who drives that wagon? Um, it's uh, Dr. Ryan. He does a medicine show, and I'm helping him out. Is he your dad? Uh uh, no. Uh, I'm 25. And what are you doing with your life? <laughs> what are you doing with your life? I don't know. How old are you? I'm 14. I've kind of been traveling, wandering around, but um, yeah, I'm with a with a medicine show now. Have a girlfriend? Well, uh, I don't know. So you don't. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I don't know.
with you. Yep. <laughs> you think that'll hold? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. There you go. <coughs> Wish I was a lizard in the spring. Wish I was a lizard in the spring. If I was a lizard in the spring. I'd hear my true love sing, wish I, there you are. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the song my friend taught. So? <laughs> Is it? Is it mole in the ground? Yeah. Mole in the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wish I was a mole in the ground. Wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I heard the mountain down. Wish I was a mole in the ground. There you go, I see it. Mm. Looks good. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's cold. What's that? Yeah. Tastes like water. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Oh, no, oh, am I eating too much? Is that the problem? <laughs> No. Well, I need, I need some help now. We've, we've got enjoyed having you. Yeah, it's just that we got a lot of work to do. And well, we've got an agreement, too, for a couple of days of that work. What's this? What's going on? Well, hmm. Dr. Ryan wants to get more herbs today. He says he doesn't have enough yet. I just, I just, I don't, I just don't think this is going to work out. You know, just there's too many people around here already, maybe, and now this comes in, the picture, and... Well, we didn't come to move in, Charles. We just well, come know, for a couple of days of hiking just, in the woods, just, gathering herbs. It's just, I don't know. I just don't. I've got a bad feeling about the whole thing. Is this what what it comes down to? I think. And, well, and, you know, all I, good things come to an end. What is that <laughs> supposed to mean? You know, we just can't so, keep going out in the woods. Okay, well, are you having a good thing out in the woods? That's not what I meant. <laughs> I just, I gotta work here. I just, I just think maybe you guys just have to, you know, hit the road. Take what you got and just call it even or whatever we're gonna call it and just. Well, just Charles, it's a long way from even and I regret the situation, but we'll I, go I, on. I, I regret it too, but. Come on, see, let's just head on down the highway. So I was, I was a little surprised when I took a pull off that elixir and there was nothing there. Nothing? I, I mean, it seemed like it seemed like nothing to me. Well, Felix, nothing is is not nothing. The dark matter in the universe comprises most of the universe. None of Einstein's equations were balanced without nothing. We've got to have it. The most important part of that cup is the nothing in the middle of it. You see what I'm saying? If it was solid, huh, what good would that be? Just don't have a rock sitting there. 
No, you you stick with it a little while. You'll understand what's in Dr. Ryan's elixir, but don't expect to pick up on it in a few days. You've not got the perspective yet to understand what's there, but you stick with me going down the road for another 10 or 12 years and you'll begin to see what's really in Dr. Ryan's elixir. And it is nothing, but it's not nothing. Yeah. How long, how long have you been at this? Oh, I've been at it a long time. I, I don't remember precisely when I started. It's, uh, it's been a long time. You know, if you don't have the heart for this, just tell me so. I like you. I like the last crew I had. I like the next crew I'm going to have. But uh, if it ain't sitting you, sitting you right with you, you know, just, uh, just we're just part friends. I know I owe you some money, and uh, I'll give you the money if that's what you want. But I wondered if you might rather have this banjo instead of the cold hard cash. I believe you can make music with that and make money with that and find your own path, whatever it is, behind them five strings on that banjo. I've been thinking of, yeah, I've been thinking about heading back to Asheville um, direction. Um, but I don't think you owe me that much money, do you? It's a, it don't matter. Uh, fair is fair. I can't play the damn thing. You can play it. Take it and make music. Make people happy. You know what? Music is a medicine of its own. In your own way, you'll have a medicine show. And uh, uh, don't, don't look back. Go right on. Come back and see me in 10 years. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll put you to work again. Can you find Mom? Job back back. She has, she has all the money. No, why don't you stop them and ask them what the hell you do? Frozen custard! Try some frozen
So I thank one and all, and I trust that through the years, the rising generation will avail themselves of what beauty may be found in these recordings. John, the native of Wilkes County, his real name is Jesse Ray. We're going down to Ray Lunsford's, who knows the way over there. He's a tenant farmer and lives in Wilkes County, and one of the best traditional fiddlers in the whole section. Yeah. 